Hey, it's Joseph here. Today I wanted to introduce an artist that I often work together. Her name is Chris Wood. She's an installation artist who plays with qualities of light, often with dichroics, and these are the examples of her work. Her webpage is Chris Wood Light at Art and her Instagram page would be Chris Wood Light as well. And if you have noticed, I have one back here. Since I spun that around, and you'll see how it creates different shades of color depending on the angle, and also keep an eye on the shadow side. There'll be a difference in color cast that's on the wall versus the reflected color and what you see the dichroic color as. So it does all sort of interesting things, and let me just give you a sample as well. Typically, they are made of two different film. Depending on how you look at it, it's gonna cast different sort of color. Here is a white sheet of paper. So you'll see the piece itself in one color and the color that it casts on white sheet of paper is gonna be completely different color. And you are able to play with quality of light and color. So it becomes a very interesting thing. Look at a couple of her works and she does interesting patterns. There are some geometric shapes as well well as some gradual patterns that gets created and depending on the light quality it can cast all sorts of different colors and patterns so please don't forget to visit her website and also Instagram page to kind of see what she does. It's quite inspiring and it is interesting. Now with that said, the reason why I bring this up on my channel is not only because I work with her very often, it is because a lot of her works is based in SketchUp and I am able to create the patterns and a general look of it inside of 3D and we can get confirmation and produce actual drawing that we can go off of often it is laser cut CNC to produce these panels which can be installed all together and transported as well and in conjunction with just showcasing her work I wanted to introduce one extension inside of SketchUp that will help you create these sort of patterns which is called profile builder so I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to follow it will be an affiliated link so if you decide to buy this extension there will be a small kickback to myself as well so please be aware and I'm just going to create one meter by one square panel so 1m comma 1m enter and then I'm just going to push pull about 30 mil just to give thickness to the panel and then I'm just going to group it so this one I am thinking it is going to be about 10 mil long comma maybe two millimeter thick so this is how big the acrylic would be and maybe it protrudes out 10 millimeter as well and I'm just going to triple click it right click and make component and my component dialog will show up I'm just gonna say 10 by 10 create so there is my acrylic and I can just start to make an array by just say 20 mil this way and then 10 X enter and you'll see I can have arrays of these acrylics so if I were to try and make that into a circle one of them copied over and then define a center point and then I can just go this way and then maybe type in 10 and then I can repeat 35 X enter and you'll see that it has been just all rotated off of the center that I have dedicated and then I'm going to bring the profile builder in here I'm going to skip the first one and then click on the open assembly dialog and this is where it's going to be where I define what the assembly is I want this to be registered as a component that gets repeated so component and then plus and I need to pick from the model so I'm gonna pick that one so it is registered as 10 by 10 and then let me just as a tester draw a arc on top of the surface and then here and once I have that I can just build a long path which is a button right here and notice it just sticks one for me in the very beginning and the end so I need to define a couple of parameters here to make it look slightly different than just that so spacing I would like that to be something like maybe 50 millimeters enter so I can just go ahead and delete that and then just click on this one again to readjust to a new one or you can actually select the assembly that it's been created first and then apply assembly attributes if you have 
modified something. So for example, if I want that to be slightly tighter, I can type in 25 millimeters and then make sure you have that group selected and then you're gonna click on apply assembly attributes and notice how that changes. And on here, I'm just gonna start to create some curve on it. So maybe I can start from something that is not too complex, like so. And then on the other side, maybe it is going to be on the center, maybe it starts to do something like that. And then maybe on the other side, it is a lot simpler shape like this one here. And all of these three selected, I can actually blend them. So I can go curvy loft and then it's going to create all of these different shapes. I'm gonna accept the curve. Um, if I want a bit more lines in between, I can do that. But I think about this many segments are good. So I can actually accept that. And then once that comes in, notice how that is gonna be my new line set. So I'm gonna explode this and make sure all of these become just a single curve. So I'm gonna select all of these curves together and then with all of these attributes already typed in, I'm gonna go build a long path. And once I do that, notice how it is all repeated on here. It's randomly rotated. And if you don't like that, that I'm gonna just undo. And then perhaps I want that to be 90 degrees and then build a long path and it starts to create very, very interesting things. So let me apply the material as well. Maybe you don't want to see the line, so I can actually select all of that. And with selection toy, I can select just the edges and I can hide them as well. So if I have liked that, I can actually name that something different. So maybe Dichroic Pattern 01 and then save that. And I can save that out to my desktop. And there you go. So it is going to be saved. So hopefully that is something interesting and also useful and inspiring for you as well. Profile Builder is not only just pattern creating, but also it is really meant for linear elements that gets repeated handrails, balustrades, roads. There's a lot of examples available on their website. So don't forget to click on the link that is provided in my description. And also don't forget to check out Chris Wood's website, which I will also leave a link in the description so if you have liked it please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching these sort of videos and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye